It is already a heated race in Orange and Osceola County. Suspended Democrat Monique Worrell is running against the state attorney that the governor picked to replace her. As West Chew's Justin Shecker reports, the two candidates came face to face today shortly after accusations of election interference were filed in court. In August 2023, Governor Ron DeSantis ousted Monique Worrell, a Democratic state attorney for Orange and Osceola counties. The suspended prosecutor is seeking re-election. Her message during this debate hosted by the League of Women Voters is that democracy is on the ballot in November. I think the community won because the community got the truth, right? So this really isn't about me. It's about the 497,000 voters whose voices were silenced by the governor. Selected by the governor to replace Morrell, nonpartisan candidate Andrew Bain is running to remain in office. Our community is safer from the work that we've been doing. Uh, we've been keeping violent people off our streets. A third candidate, Republican Seth Hyman, had been scheduled to speak at this forum, but he quit the race a week ago, prompting the candidate he defeated in the primary, Thomas Fighter, to take legal action. Fighter claims defendant Seth Hyman was promised a benefit, such as a judgeship or other political favors, in exchange for running and then withdrawing. His plan was always to serve as a placeholder so that no genuine Republican could interfere with the faction's plan to keep Andrew Bain state attorney. I haven't had anything to do with anything that's been going on. This is just another distraction. Ahead of today's debate, Republican candidate Thomas Fighter filed this lawsuit here in Orange County Court, accusing state officials of election interference in the state attorney's race. He was also first in line at the debate to ask the candidates a question about the investigation into these allegations. Would you both welcome a federal investigation into our legal community's collective concern that Seth Hyman was a ghost candidate recruited to help Andrew Bain? Bain responded by saying it's up to the FDLE Election Crime and Security Office to determine if there was any wrongdoing in this already heated race. After the debate, Orell told West 2 News. They're not concerned about free and fair elections. We need outside help. This is an SOS to the federal government. In two months, voters will decide whether this new wrinkle in the race will affect their choice for Orange and Osceola County's top prosecutor. In Winter Park, Justin Shecker, West 2 News. And West News emailed the governor's office and left a message at Seth Hyman's law office asking for comment about the new lawsuit. We will keep you posted if and when we hear back.